Welcome to Woodwork for Humans, the series that gets you woodworking right now. And when most people hear woodworking, they think dovetails, the iconic cabinet joint that's strong, beautiful, and not easy to make. A few weeks ago, I cut these simple dovetails using an inexpensive Ryoba saw. And it worked, but it was tricky with this flexible saw. As we push our woodworking skills, we're going to need a good joinery saw that's also affordable. You can't cut a clean joint with a regular hand saw. The plate is too thick and the cut is too rough. We need a saw with fine teeth and a thin plate. But if you make a saw really thin, it's going to be too flexible and it won't cut straight. So we'll also need a spine along the back of the saw to keep it stiff in the cut. So this saw should work. It's small and thin. It's got a spine to keep it rigid and a fancy pistol grip. It also only costs 12 bucks, which is sort of amazing for this streamlined chrome instrument. But right away, we run into problems. That fancy grip turns out to be weird. You kind of have to work around it. And the teeth of the saw, they're poorly cut and too big. The saw is hard to start, and it takes me several tries just to get it going. It cuts okay once it's in the wood, but the line is ragged. I could never make a tight joint with a cut like this. I thought this saw was going to be my secret discovery, but we need something a lot more refined. So maybe something like this little Zona saw. This tool is ultra fine, especially for under $12. The plate is paper thin, and those tiny teeth are beautifully cut and really sharp. For such a tiny saw, it's got a big, comfy handle that's easy to grip. In this walnut, it cuts a razor thin line. And you can cut dovetails with this saw. People do it. But this thing is so small and light that it's got no heft or power. Those tiny teeth are hard to start in this maple, and they take forever to cut down to my baseline. A good joinery saw needs to be precise, but you also need a little bit of momentum. You have to be able to push and angle the saw to make adjustments. Once I get the little zona started, it cuts smoothly, but my angle is a little off. I've barely started cutting, so I should be able to lean the saw a little bit and correct the cut. But this saw is such a featherweight that I've got no leverage. Once I've started the cut, I'm married to it, and by the time I get to my baseline, I'm way off. This pin is going to need a lot of cleanup for the joint to work. This saw might be sharp and fine, but it's also the littlest kid on the playground. The wood just pushes it around, and I never feel like I'm really in control. Luckily. Zona makes a bunch of saws. This one is one of the biggest. It's got a bigger, deeper plate, and the teeth are large enough that you can probably sharpen it yourself. The handle's a little skimpy, even for a $13 saw. It's too bad Zona doesn't offer that nice turned handle on the larger saws. And this saw is easily the best one so far. It's still a little tough to start, but once you get going, the cut is smooth, and it's a lot faster than the tiny saw. It's still on the slow side, but for this price, it's hard to complain. This larger Zona saw packs a pretty amazing value into a small package. You can buy this thing and start dovetailing right away. Saw your lines, chisel out your waist, and with a little practice, you can make joints that slide together and lock in nice and tight. But wait, go back. <laughs> See here, as I'm getting to the bottom of this cut, Look how much of the saw I'm using just to make a three-quarter inch cut. What am I going to do for a cut that's deeper? What about when I want to cut tenons? Do I have to start all over looking for another bigger affordable joinery saw? That's not going to work. I need one affordable joinery saw that can handle multiple tasks in the shop. Maybe this Suizan saw will do a few more tricks. It's a traditional Dazuki saw. It has a long handle for control and a very thin plate with fine teeth. It's light, but it doesn't feel cheap, and it's easy to get a good grip with the handle along my forearm and my finger on the spine. This saw cuts on the pull stroke, which makes it easy to start even in this rock-hard maple. The teeth are little, but they have a really aggressive shape, and this saw cuts fast and tracks straight, even in this dense wood. It doesn't have the heft of a nice vintage back saw, but you're still holding enough tool that you feel like you're actually in charge. What I really like is that it's deeper than the Zona, and will handle more than just dovetails in thin wood. 
The Suisan is also a lot more expensive. It comes in at around $36. But if this is your main joinery saw, then I would say that's a fair price. And if you need things a little cheaper, they also make a couple of slightly smaller saws that cost a bit less. Now, I'll admit that Japanese saws aren't my favorite. I usually prefer Western back saws, but a decent Western-style back saw like the Veritas is going to run you about $70 plus shipping. And that's on the low end. That's just more than some people can spend. For half the money, the Suizan has similar capabilities to a Western saw, even if the Japanese geometry takes a little getting used to. And if you're new to cutting dovetails, don't be intimidated. I am too. I've only been studying this joint for a few weeks, and my dovetails aren't perfect, but they're getting totally decent. I had to slide one wood shaving into a gap in this joint during glue up, but now that I'm smoothing it out and putting on a finish, most people won't notice. Instead, they'll focus on the beauty of the joint and the strength of whatever I make. And now you have a couple of options to add a fine joinery saw to your Woodwork for Humans toolkit. In the coming months, we'll look at other joints, both complicated and quick, and we'll do more approachable projects to get you woodworking fast. There are links in the description for these saws, as well as all the Woodwork for Humans tools. And if you enjoyed this video, you should know that it's sponsored by my patrons on Patreon. My patrons make these videos possible. They even recommended some of the tools in this video. If you'd like to be part of this amazing community, go on over to patreon.com slash rexkruger. Patrons get early access to all my videos, as well as blog posts, behind the scenes stuff, and exclusive video extras. I do a lot for my patrons because they do a lot for me. I'll see you all next week. Thanks so much for watching.